If you're hand drawing vectors in Inkscape, so what I mean is you're actually physically drawing a little UFO like what I drew here, and then you scan it into Inkscape, you may run into the situation where the scan is hard to actually pick up. So when you're tracing the bitmap, you might run into a situation where the lines look a little bit not great. They're a little bit wimpy here. See how the lines are not like Disney-esque? They're not super smooth. Well, check this one out. See how much better this one looks? This is a nice, even one. So what was the difference? What did I do differently? All will be revealed in this quick little tutorial. Okay, so I've got two vectors here. I've got this one that's not looking so great. It's a little bit wonky. See how the lines are all fuzzy? I've got this other one that's just smoother. Okay, you can just see the lines are just a little bit better. So why is it that this one's better? What did I do differently here? Well, the trick is you don't really know what the sizes are of these that I drew. And so I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back in time and show you exactly how I drew these. Okay, so here's how the magic trick's done. You can see here how tiny my original drawing is. This is the one that had the lines that were a little bit wimpy, and it's because I'm using a really, really fine tip marker. And this is normal. A lot of artists will make this mistake, and they'll write with the tiniest little ballpoint pen or pencil, or in this case, I'm using like a 0.1 millimeter micron uh, felt tip pen. So it looks okay, but there's no reason it needs to be this small, right? I'm gonna be taking a picture of it and then scanning it in. So here I'm using a Micron 01, which is like super fine. You'd be using this for the most delicate of inking. You can see it there compared to my hand, how tiny it is. There's no reason for it to be that small because I'm gonna be scanning it in to Inkscape. Check out this other drawing. I used the same eight and a half, 11 piece of paper, but I used a really big fat marker. Here I used a Pigma Sensei 1.0 millimeters. That's a really nice fat marker. So look at how clean the lines are. It's almost like Disney-esque, right? So it's the relationship between the two, the lines overall, that you can see the difference. It was, first of all, way easier to draw the big one. There you can see the small one looks okay, but the big one is way easier to do. So what I would recommend is grab a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper and just draw a really large drawing because when you scan it in, no one's going to know how big or small the drawing was. 